Welcome to the ultimate cycling training camp with Team EF Coaching in Girona. I am your host, Charles Wimet, an high-level amateur cyclist and YouTuber who's always looking for the extra edge to elevate my cycling abilities. For six days in a row, follow a group of eight amateur cyclists with two world-class coaches as we embark on this experience of a lifetime where the group and I will test our physical and mental limits all for common goals to become better cyclists. What did we learn during this training camp? Did I become faster? Ah, we're all good! Yeah! Welcome to Team Camp, Charles. Find out by yourself and experience this training camp firsthand with me exclusively on my YouTube channel. Coming up next in episode number six, we rode with the pro. From this Guys, I can't believe it. This is the last episode of this series, but definitely not the last video on my YouTube channel this year. Get ready for some amazing content throughout the whole year. More with EF, but more other project as well. So please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram at Charles Wimet and drop a thumbs up on this video. Send it to your friends. Share this whole series into your local Facebook group. And shout out to every single donation on PayPal for the support of this series, the 200 hours of work that went into it. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. You guys are the best. All right, let's get back into episode number six. So let's do the standard check in. How's everybody feeling today? One to ten, young man. Oh, uh, seven today. I'm feeling okay. Okay. Seven. I'm like a six, maybe okay. seven, seven miles. So we have 94 Ks of riding today. We're riding with not just the best guys on our team, but like some of the fastest riders in the world today. So our group is Carapaz, this guy, Amador. We are going for a ride with the pros and it's kind of, it's cool and it's not cool at the same time. We have to be so careful to not cause any crash, any problems. We have to make sure these guys are not mad at the, the, the our crew of amateur, but I'm sure everything will be fine and we're gonna just have a good time. It's now time to kit up and head down to the bus where we're gonna start the ride. Today's the last day. Best of last. Best of last. Okay. So we every day we do more or less the same when we have a race with the riders. So before they start changing clothing, we, we do a meeting with them and we talk about the strategy of the day and if we need to fix something that happened the days before. And this is what uh, what we do basically every day here. So this is our our meeting point when Normally everyone has always his own spot, so normally here is Rigo. I mean, it depends, the, obviously, the roster we have in every race, but they always keep the same seats for the world race, is something cool. You are going to join the group, yeah? It's the group number four, is leaving in 15 minutes. And uh, they are going to do, after 36 kilometers, few sprints, powerful training, like they start from standing, sprints, and they do six times uh, eight seconds and then 52 seconds recovery after the sprint. They are gonna repeat it two times. All right, and off we go. We then did a quick pee stop, fueling up before the sprint drill. The worst can happen is your chain slip and you hit your knee on your bar. <laughs> hey, Zach. <laughs> that never happened. <laughs> Sprint intervals, so I'm gonna try to grab uh, some of these guys' wheel. And... So these drills were really yeah. high towards sprints, starting from basically zero speed on the 11th gear, the hardest gear the bike had, and then just try to accelerate up to speed. <laughs> Woo! 
who's that? <laughs> yes, you hear that. That was Zach again slipping his front chain ring when trying to accelerate. At that point, I decided to let that group go and catch up to the other guys that were not doing the drills. I felt like chasing that breakaway felt good. And as soon as I joined the guys, uh, we started to chat and the pace was super chill. Yeah, it was good. Well, I mean, I, I am invited as a cameraman, so I'm Charles with that. So we got to the same climb as episode number three and I knew that one was gonna be tough even though these guys were going easy. I thought about the technique, I thought about saving as much energy as possible and then everything went right. Made it to the top of the climb with the big guys. So where are you from? I'm from uh, Norway. Norway yeah. Gotta say there, for the sprint drill, this is totally my thing. I had absolutely no issues holding their wheels or here. I could even pass him, but I did not just for the sake of respect. And here even Carpaz, sorry, but I, I could have smashed it so hard and passed you, but I did not. <laughs> Anyways, I know that I'm nowhere near as fit as these guys for anything over 30 seconds. Uh, they can drop me on pretty much every single minute, five minute, 20 minute, hour, three hour climbs. Um, but it was just good for my ego to know that I could challenge a sprint. Will you come back? Uh, in three days. Yes. This is our last ride uh, at the camp. But here I want to thank all of the riders to trust me. They even let me inside of the pace line. Uh, I feel that I showed that I was good enough to be riding with them. Uh, it was such a mind-blowing experience to be able to uh, flick the elbows and roll turns with them. And yeah, wow, what an experience. This was the icing on the cake for everyone who attending the full team EF coaching camp. Everyone had a blast. Everyone was able to take the photos with the pros. What a day that everyone will remember forever. Right, we are back. This is how the training camp is now done for uh, the cycling here in Girona with Team EF coaching. What an experience. But there's still a few more things before the end. Let's get into it. Yeah, Zach. Cheers, sure, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> Does he do it with his speed? <laughs> no. <laughs> it was kind of like a, a Gatorade, and this was something you buy at a store we call uh, Whole Foods. You know, like some kind of natural fruit juice or something. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. But we're talking sports drinks. This, this one's delicious. <laughs> Actually making a difference in the world of cyclists. Those initial ideas, we had like such big ideas and the reality is it takes a long time for those deep ideas to become a reality. And so like any company, I think you go through different phases of understanding where you're at and how like, you know, finding your way. And for me, every single person kind of has made comments throughout the week about feeling inspired. 
you know, setting PRs and learning new things. And every single time I've heard those comments this week, I've felt so inspired about the journey of this company. Like this is really it. We're really making a difference here. I don't know about you guys, but when I wake up every single day, that's one of my number one objectives. It's like, how can I make a positive impact in the things I do? So the bike industry for the longest time has taken some great resources and like, like put them behind the curtains and shut them in the corner and said, hey, we're gonna keep these source cells. We're not gonna share them. And you know, JV really opened up the doors to me with a tremendous opportunity to share all of this information and all of these resources with people who really want to learn and under, get, understand this horror cipher. And we're actually doing it. So that is a really cool thing. And I'm very proud of everybody here, wherever you are in every single room, right? Your presence is, you, you've earned <coughs> your own way there. Presence is always earned. After a week of hard training, setting PRs, learning how to ride your bike. We've all built unique bonds, I think in our own ways and really evolved as human beings. And we're all going to leave here looking at this sport a different way. For you guys, you're looking at it one way, right? And for me and Colby, I'm sure we're looking at it as we need to change these things and do this to teach people better and build more resources and all of those things. But at the end of the day, you guys have been a massive part of taking this project forward and showing us that we are on the right track. And so for that, I just want to say a massive thank you to you, JV, for first of all, extending this opportunity to me and making this even a possibility for the entire cycling community and for all of you guys for supporting what we built here. So thank you very much. Cheers, cheers. Nice, guys. The entire group. We've got a group of riders here that the came here as part of the EF Plain Team, which is a new education business that EF Education First is opening up. And it's basically just to educate bike riders on the faster bike riders. They're ending up their camp today, and they got a, an award for their most improved rider, the guy who over the last week, Zach Morris, who is the president. Director, I don't know, tell me your company. Okay, President, sure. But he's the President of the United States. Wait, no, no, no. Okay. Um, EF Pro Cycling is going to present the award to the most improved rider from EF Coaching. So pay attention closely because all of you can also improve quite a bit too. If you'd like to be clients, we can give you a, you know, we'll, we'll charge you by the month, no problem. So you can get a little discount because you're already pro riders, but small, small discount. So anyway, all right, Zach, take it away. Everybody gets mad at me for giving away discounts, so oh. thanks, sir. <laughs> but uh, what's up, everybody? I'm Zach. Nice to meet you guys. I've said hello to most of you. Um, I think a lot of you guys don't realize how good you are at bike riding. And for a lot of people out there, they just like really strive to do basic things on their bike, like being able to stand up. This week, sorry, we did a, we did a whole day on how to stand up on your bike and how to like do use different cadences, right? So something pro riders really take for granted, but something that's really hard to figure out how to do at a later age in life. Didn't start cycling when you were like 12, like most of you guys. So this week we put our group of athletes through a series of pretty rigorous tests and uh, we talked about a lot of stuff in a really short period of time on nutrition, bike riding in general, how to maximize their speed for the amount of effort that they're putting out. It's a pretty complicated thing to do. So we have selected our most improved rider based on not just how much they improve their ability to do a five minute effort over the course of the week, but on their ability to make good decisions while they're riding, use different body positions, execute an effort efficiently, use the right cadences, so on and so forth, to become a better bike rider overall. So we've selected our winner, Colby and I have reviewed all the data and all the all the stuff. So wait, just putting that today, today the coaching the coaching clients went out riding with the pro riders. Right, Vigo? Yeah. Well the video no, the video from today. I draw everybody. <laughs> 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 
I have it. I have it. In January we post the video. In January, 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 no way. But no crashes, no crash. Almost, almost, almost. So tonight we're presenting the award to somebody that's actually been winning in pretty much every area of their life recently, which I think the message translates beyond just our coaching group, right? And maybe to each and every one of you in this room. When you have the mindset of waking up every single day and just like figuring out how to grow, how to become better, and you feel like genuinely like to be bad inside of you, if that's something you like tell yourself or if you're like BS, you know what I mean? You actually like progress and like do some things that maybe you thought were impossible one day. And so the person that I'm gonna present the awards to actually won the Entrepreneur of the Year in Germany this year, Mr. Ulrich Prediger, if you could come up and just see So this is a signed jersey from every rider of the team. Stop on the guys. Thanks, Bob. What a great experience. So no disappointments. This is the end. I am finally done editing this whole series. Six episodes, about two hour and a half of content over on my YouTube channel. Thanks to everyone who started from episode one and listened all the way to episode number six. If you saw some episode here and there, well, maybe we start from the, the beginning and watch the whole thing so you can experience how I grew as a cyclist living that experience at the Team EF Pro training camp. I gotta thank here Zach and Colby for allowing me to come over at their camp and document the whole thing. I have to thank the whole Team EF coaching business to providing me the access of that training camp. I gotta thank Team EF Pro Cycling for allowing me to be at their training camp and using their facilities and their team cars and team buses and team staff to share what is like a true professional cyclist training camp on my YouTube channel. So this would not have been possible without them, without their support and without their trust into what I can do as a YouTuber cyclist. Uh, I'm bringing something new and fresh to YouTube, something I, I believe that has not been done before. So much knowledge shared in this series is, like Zach said, hidden behind curtains, behind closed doors. Pro cycling team trying to keep their secrets for the extra edge over the competition. But now that the team education first are opening up with all of this knowledge with everyone, I mean, it's, it's just a plus for everyone. And I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this series as much as I did. Everyone who watch ep these episodes at least learned one thing new. If not 10 new things, if not 100 new things over the last weeks. Uh, so for me, this project is a total success and I am looking forward to more series like that. I have a new one planned over the spring, maybe even more Team EF coaching content over the next year, more adventures, more events, more more everything. So yeah, I am not done with this cycling YouTube channel. I believe I'm just having a fresh new start and I want you guys to come on this journey with me to learn and be entertained at the same time and just follow along my crazy adventures on the bike. With that said, I would like to thank you all once again for this incredible series. Thank you for investing time in watching my content. And thanks to everyone who subscribed to the foundation program using the code Charles. Um, I'm sure you guys will love the foundation program. Thanks for all the donations over on PayPal. Thanks for all the new subscribers. Thanks for all the thumbs up on these videos. Uh, it truly, truly 
means the world for me. So as always, for the OGs on my YouTube channel, I haven't done my proper video ending on this series. So here it is. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this though, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you aren't already. And my name is Charles and I will see you guys on the road or into the next video. Peace.